Welcome friends, welcome back to Fitness with Shanu. I'm here back again, ready to do some beautiful exercises for the tummy and for the back. And this is from a special request from one of my colleagues, he whatsapped me and thank you so much for asking me to do certain basic exercises in just 15 minutes. So what we're going to do over here is we have done some warm ups, right? I hope you have done some warm ups too. I have done my basic warm ups, some stretches and now I am ready to do some basic exercises starting from my back right now. Now why is the back important because when we are doing, we are doing any kind of crunches for the tummy, our back gets involved in it and what happens is if our back muscles are not relaxed, we can have some kind of injury in our back. So we have to do some basic exercises, let's start with the first one which is the cat and dog pose. So it begins like this, come down slowly on your knees. Be on your toes like this and start doing the cat and dog pose. So compress, breathe out, look up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Now let's look left and right. Try to do these things at least 10 times on each side. Okay? Now after we do this, the next exercise which we are going to do is come a little forward. We are going to throw our legs up. This is very good for the lower back. So put your leg up like this and start doing 10 repetitions. Do the same thing on the other side. Similarly. As high as you can take it. Now the next exercise do at least three sets of this then each side the next one is push breathe when you bring it up breathe out when you push it up breathe in so i'm going to do just five each so it's going to be a 15 minutes video With this, we are going to go to the very important pose which is the down dog pose or the mountain pose. So as per your flexibility, you can be far further away also or you can come a little closer. Make sure that your heels are flat. So in this, your back is getting stretched, your hamstrings are getting stretched. Beautiful. Normal breathing in this process. Now go up a little bit and try to come forward as much as you can and slowly go backwards. From here, touch down and slowly come forward. This is Bhojangasan. Normal breathing. You can look left and look right on your heels and then slowly come back to your child pose. From here we are going to do the Ustrangasana or the camel pose. If you can do it, that's wonderful. From here touch your heels. The other heel. Go back. Normal breathing. If you can't do this completely, then you can do the half camel pose. Cross your hands and slowly go back. Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Do this at least, at least minimum five times each. Now let's do some stretch. This is very good for your back also. Wonderful. Now slowly, slowly keep your hands over here. Slowly, slowly bring them backwards. Now this is going to straighten your back. You can feel a little bit of pressure over here. That's wonderful if you're feeling so. If you can do the next level, that's beautiful. Take it up, push back. And then slowly backwards. Try to touch your knees. If you can do it, if you can come till here, it's beautiful. Till the time you feel a pressure here. Okay, let's, let's go to the second side. Your right leg forward, left leg backwards. Same process, both the hands on the sides. 
and then slowly, slowly come back. which is a half pigeon pose you can bring your leg up like this if you can do so slowly till here if you can't do this completely try to bring your leg up some of you might have problem bringing your leg up that's fine you can slowly slowly try this this motion try this motion slowly slowly you can feel a little bit of pressure over here that's beautiful for your back okay Another very important and beautiful pose is you can be in this Vajrasana and slowly slowly you can start going backwards. If you all can't do this, it's going to be wonderful for your back. Try to go this much, at least to your elbows. Those who can go backwards, furthermore, slowly slowly go back. And this brings about a beautiful curve in your lower back. Try to bring your hands backwards and keep your hands together in a namaskar position. This is also very good for your ankle joints. You don't want to open your ankle joints. Okay, let's come up slowly. Now let's get on to the business of some more strict and stringent exercises for the back. Here you're going to lift your back up. This is Setu Band Asan. And then slowly go down. Breathe in. And slowly go down. What you can do is if you are able to reach your ankles over here, you touch them and then slowly lift it up, holding them. If you can't, that's also fine. You can keep it a little apart and put your hands flat on the palms, flat on the ground, and try to lift up. Lovely, wonderful. Okay, another beautiful exercise is the one which is my favorite. It's known as roly poly, which in which you sit down like this, cross your fingers. And then you roll backward. Make sure that when you come up, you breathe in, and when you go back, you breathe out. It's beautiful. And slowly, slowly, what happens is you can hold your knees here and try to go back. If you can't do this much, if you can't bring it back in the initial stages, do the baby poses. Very simple, like a baby does. You know this pose when the baby is there sitting lying down on the bed, his legs are like this, you can touch your thumb, toes like this, and you can just pull yourself back. So touching your toes, you're pulling yourself back and forward. If you can't do the complete thing. And while doing this slowly, slowly you can go backwards. Don't forget your childhood days used to be like this. Remember, you are so flexible. And now what has happened over a period of time, because of not exercising, your body has become very very st strong and very very tight in your muscles and even in your bone joints. So doing this is a very basic thing which you can do. You can do it on a carpet, you can do it on a yoga mat, you can even do it on your bed, provided it's not too cushiony. Now you can go like this, if you can do, and over a period of time, maybe a couple of months, one or two months, you can be this way. Now from here. If you are able to do this much, that's beautiful. And now take rest from your palms and try to push your body back. And try to make your knees straight. Don't make it like this. If you're not able to make it straight, if it's paining over here, try to do a very simple bending like this. It's very good for your back. It stretches your complete spinal cord. Those who are able to do it can do like this. And the next advanced level is like this. So keep on doing like this and over a period of time slowly slowly what's going to happen is you are going to be able to do like something like this so you'll be able to completely twist your spine up okay let's do it now let's come to the next motion over here let's do some tummy exercises okay so for the tummy exercises make a diamond over here like this and keep this diamond just below your buttocks now since you have stretched your back, it's beautifully stretched. Now you're ready to do, take on some pressure. Now because when you're going to put your legs like this, you're going to feel some pressure on your back. So let's take the pressure now. 
for that pressure not to increase too much, we are making this diamond under your buttocks. Keep it under your tailbone. And let's do flip flop. So you do this flip flop, keeping your legs straight. Don't do like this. This is not a cycling. But this is like a flip flop. So you do this ten times each side. So one, two. That's how you count. Three, four. Okay, and you do this three sets ten times on each side. Ten, ten. The next exercise is another beautiful exercise in which we're going to swing the both the legs together. So keep your diamond intact for your support for your back. Out, breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Do this exercise at least three sets and maximum five sets, ten times each. Okay. Now we're going to do go to the next one. If you can keep your legs up like this, wonderful. Because this is a rigorous one in which we try to bring our body up, contraction and breathing out. So. Now remember, if your back bone or if your back muscles are not relaxed, you won't be able to come up at all. You will have back pain. So what we are doing here is relaxing our muscles, back muscles, so that the contraction can happen over here. So these muscles are relaxed and these muscles are contracting. If you can't do it up like this, keep your legs like this. I have seen many people do something like this. One, two. Now this is also okay, but then you have back pain in this. Best one is this thing. Make a complete table here, and if you can do something a little more further ahead, you can go like this. This makes your tummy very tight, and this is amazing. So if you can do three sets of this, maximum five sets again, ten repetitions each. Let's do the next one. Make the diamond properly. Keep your leg forward. And push your leg, one leg up. One is constant. So ten on one side. Ten on the other side. Take a break, relax, breathe in deeply. In this tummy exercise, you have to breathe in and deflate. Expand, deflate. Expand, deflate. Wonderful. So now we have done these three exercises. Let's do next ones. Now this next one is going to be the other way around. You will be on your plank position like this. Okay. So when you are in a plank position. You can cross your fingers, or you can keep them together like this. Together, go up, make a nice balance. One, two, three, four. This is the marine exercise. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those who can't do it, it's okay. Be like this only. You can be like this. Hold on for some few seconds. Have a watch in front of you. Have a phone in front of you, like I have over there, and I can see what exactly the number of seconds I'm there on this. Thank you. So after you finish your plank, let's do it. Let's say around three times, maybe 30, 30, 30 seconds, maybe 50, 50, 50 seconds, or one minute, one minute, one minute. Come down on your knees first. Come up on your hands. And now from here, we're going to do certain mountain climbing poses. So first. Your plank position, and then you do one, two, three, four. If you don't want to breathe regularly, then you can do very normal breathing in the whole process. What this is doing is this is creating a plank position for you. At the same time, you're compressing with your legs. The other one is the rigorous one, which is the faster one of this. That is. It's like as if you're climbing up the mountain. Now, next thing is, we're going to do the crisscross motions. So these crisscross motions are very good for your love handles, and they bring about a cut over here. That means these muscles get activated. Let's do it now. Now 
again the same thing over here if you don't want to do the breathing and bring out you can do very simple normal breathing process whatever feels comfortable to you do this at least three sets of 10 times that is one one that is how you count one two two three and three now the next one which we're going to do is with the plank position complete plank leg is like this kick sideways kick sideways knees out beautiful so if you are able to do this again the same thing you have to do 10 10 10 times each each side that's going to take care of it now for the sides let's say for this side if you want to reduce this area you can be in this normal position like this same thing you do it for the other side make this balance and keep this balance together at the same time now the next higher level for this is hands up keep your fist facing forward you're keeping your legs crossed like this so your legs are not together like this one is forward and one is backwards so that you can balance your body and go down breathe breathe out you can keep like this also so you will feel a beautiful amount of pain over here that's wonderful do it for the other side also okay another very simple one is those who can't do this exercise for rotating this and rotating this you do a simple basic hand press like this keep a balance you keeping in a balance kick now rotate keep a balance over here also like this and kick so as high as you can take this is going to rotate this remember the other one which was beautiful now if you do these exercises minimum of 10 repetitions and three sets each is going to take care of your fat and everything most important thing is listen to my fitness with shanu episode i think 2 in which i am talking about how thoughts also affect your digestive system if you are not taking care of your digestive system you are doing exercises you're going to get tired why because you are letting your hormones because of your thoughts become impulsive that means a little higher and a little lower so your mood swings also actually increase the fat over here you tend to have more and more fat in your body so take care of that listen to the episodes and keep the exercises going so exercise and mental health work together is a bomb so let's do it together thank you so much see you in the next episode bye bye